Hi there, Vera here from Hospitable, uh, and I'm here with you guys today to show you a demo of our system. Essentially, it's going to be an overview of all of the features that we have to offer and a nice little insight on how you can automate and make renting and short-term rentals completely trivial. So without much further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to see when you log into your Hospitable account is this dashboard. So you'll be able to see all the check-ins, checkouts, and tasks that you have lined up for today. The idea behind this is to give you a nice little overview of what your day is going to look like and where your focus needs to be. Core feature number one is our unified inbox. All of your messages from all of your channels will be coming into this one spot. The messaging is real time and it's also native. Native meaning that Barry on Airbnb will get this message on Airbnb. Joseph on VRBO on the other hand will be getting messages through VRBO. You can also use the filters right here to create these saved segments to organize your inbox even more. For example, these saved segments right here, this would show me only the inquiries or people that are currently staying. Now, uh, this is what the messaging threads look like, and arguably this is where uh, you'll be spending most of your time in when it comes to hospitable. A bit about the interface, you have info about the reservation right here, any internal notes you want to leave regarding reservation, a calendar detailing the stay. This is uh, your smart lock property access. You'll be able to see all of your uh, codes for your doors right here. Messaging activity will show you all of the messaging activity. So everything that was sent, canceled, or that is scheduled to be sent. We also have the task section here, which detail and outline all of the tasks they have lined up for today. A uh, nice little thing here is that straight from here, you can create new tasks. So for example, Barry tells you the washing machine broke. No worries, I'm just gonna click new, select the start and end times, select my maintenance screw, select Francis, my favorite maintenance person, tell them what happened here and hit save. As soon as I hit save, Francis is going to get a text telling them what happened and when and where they need to be and what kind of issue they need to fix. So in, a, in literally 30 seconds, you've already informed your uh, maintenance team of any fixes that need to happen. Uh, in terms of guest information, at the top, you have your basic information on the guests, like where they're from, time zones, etc. And at the bottom, you have insights about the guest. So you're able to see if the guest has verified what the chances of them booking are public reviews as well as the latest couple of reviews that people have left for this person. This is pretty uh, important, especially when it comes to inquiries. So for example, if someone inquires but they're not verified or have bad reviews, you probably won't ask them a couple more questions or flat out deny the reservation itself. So this way you don't have to open anything up, you can just see it straight from here. Now, uh, the biggest uh, selling point for us is, of course, automated messages and our AI, as well as our chat GPT integration. Barry here was picked for a reason, because this was a last minute instant book that happened at 2 a.m. host time. So I'm going to do a little breakdown to show you exactly what happened here. Keep in mind, this entire conversation is completely automated. This means that the host didn't send a single message out. It was all hospitable. So let's see what happened. The booking was confirmed and accepted. And within a minute, we sent out the reservation confirmation that also included the door code and the check-in instructions. Why? Because Barry was the last minute instant book. He's gonna be in front of that door in a couple of hours. We wanna make sure he has everything he needs to let himself in. We also asked him for the best phone number and email address because if the guest leaves us their email like this, we're able to scrape it, save it, send it to your MailChimp account. So you can market to these guests later on. This is a really good option if you're looking into uh, starting with direct bookings, mainly because uh, this is a clear and surefire way to automate your entire marketing campaign without literally doing anything once you set up the automation in place. Uh, Barry was happy with the reservation confirmation. Next thing he got was the first morning message where we asked him if he settled in, if everything is okay. And we also included this bit here. Just so you know, we do have the ability to extend your stay or offer a late checkout. If interested, send us a message and we'll share the details. So what happened here? Hospitable picked up that the night after checkout is available, meaning it's a gap night, you're not making any money, and we want to help you grow your business and by extension, help you make money. So we asked Barry it automatically if he wanted to extend his stay. Now, unfortunately, Barry here didn't take us up on it, but that's okay, it happens. 
But he did ask us a question. He said, we're having some trouble with the Wi-Fi password. Could you confirm it with us? Within a minute, he got his reply. Hi, Barry, here are the Wi-Fi details. Reset the router if it's not a password related issue. Now, all of, all of the messages that you see in your hospitable account that have the pink tint will also have a keyword under them. This is our AI picking up on questions your guests are asking you. This ranges from Wi-Fi and Netflix passwords to pets, pool, parking, beaches, early check-in, discounts, and a lot more. I'm running out of breath, so I have to stop myself there. But essentially, with uh, this type of automation, this type of powerful AI, you will be able to automate up to 90% of all of your conversations. Now, we sent him the reply to the question that he asked. He thanks us for the fast response. Next in line is checkout instructions. So here, uh, we just told him, hi, thank you for staying here at the checkout instructions, followed by leave a review. So for Airbnb only, you're able to automate the reviewing process as well, making sure that you consistently give out reviews and get reviews back as well. Uh, we also have an option for bad reviews, which when turned on, will uh, trigger the bad review to be posted 30 seconds before the 14 days are up. This way, you still get to post a review, but the guest cannot fire back. Now, uh, an of often overlooked feature, but this is something that's uh, relatively new and I'm very happy and excited to speak about, is this suggest a reply button. This is our integration with ChatGPT, uh, meaning that we're able to read whatever the guest asks and by hitting suggest a reply, we're able to automatically create and craft a reply for you. This doesn't have to be uh, things that they already asked like Wi-Fi and such. Like for example, if Barry asked you, what is the cheapest, closest mall to me? ChatGPT will be able to reference it uh, against your property and tell them, hey, this is the mall you want to go to. I suggest using this feature as much as you can as soon as you enter trial because genuinely it's a lifesaver. Uh, now, core feature number two is the unified calendar or multi-calendar. Uh, it is pretty straightforward. All of your reservations from all of your channels will be coming into this one spot. Uh, the relay time is 30 seconds, meaning 30 seconds after Sarah's reservation was confirmed on Airbnb, we close the dates on VRBO, Booking.com, and vice versa. From this calendar, you can also manage availability, pricing, and minimum length of stay across all of your channels, as uh, well as add channel markups in case you want to charge differently on different channels. Currently, we have integrations with Airbnb, VRBO, and Booking.com. For those other uh, channels that we do not have an integration with, we do have the option of adding bookings in manually. This doesn't go just for uh, channels we're not integrated with. This also goes, for example, if a friend of a friend is staying or someone picked up the phone and made a reservation, you can easily add them in by clicking on add a booking. Once they're added in, we treat it as any other reservation. Automated messages are clicked in, are, uh, automated messages, sorry, kick in, as well as automated cleaning tasks. Uh, now, we also have operations uh, for helping you uh, manage your boots on the ground team. So here you can add teammates into your operations and give them certain roles like cleaning and maintenance. Once you've scoped the roles, you want to assign tasks to your uh, team. We can assign four types of tasks, cleaning, check-in, checkout, and maintenance. And just pointing it out, but maintenance can also be reoccurring. So, for example, if you have a pool, every second Friday of the month you want that pool cleaned, no worries, Hospitable has you covered. Now, for cleaning, I'm going to go after checkout for uh, the sake of the demo. I'm going to go with, let's say, an hour and a half for the cleaning. I can decide also when I want the cleaners to go in. I can give them a checklist, assign the properties that I want for this task, and automatically assign it to my cleaner. Once this is turned on, every time a new reservation comes in, my cleaner is going to uh, get a task assigned to them. The last bit to this puzzle is notification rules. So here you can select how you want to notify your teammates about their schedule and what's happening. So you can either notify them about an event, you can schedule a reminder, or you can notify them about a task. I also want to point out that for tasks, we have options for updated and canceled, meaning if a reservation gets canceled, we immediately text your uh, cleaner and tell them that. Or if someone's no longer checking out at um, 3 p.m., they're checking out at 4, no worries, task updated has you covered, we will let the cleaner know. There's also the possibility of uh, sharing iCALs with your cleaners so that they can view their schedules. 
A different option to that is under user management, you have the option to invite users into your Hospitable account as a secondary user. This means they can actually log into Hospitable and use it depending on what type of permissions you give them. Speaking of which, there are two types of permissions, full access, which is usually reserved for a partner, and custom access, which is usually reserved for someone that you want a bit you want to put a bit more restrictions on, for example, a cleaner. So if I'm adding a cleaner, I'm probably going to give them access just to the property that they do and just to the calendar so they can view the schedules. Once added like this, they can log into Hospitable, which by extension means that they can use our iOS and Android app. The phone app has the full functionality of the website, so you can feel free to add as many people as you want to make sure everyone is on the same level and know the schedule as well. Uh, with that being said, uh, let's head into apps to check out our integrations. So right now we have integrations with MailChimp for marketing, FlightAware for flight detection, Price Labs, Beyond Pricing, Wheelhouse, Rate Genie for dynamic pricing. Charge Automation is uh, a tool used for upselling. It's currently in beta, coming really soon. Uh, and then we have integrations with Schlake, August, and Yale. So these are direct connections to these smart locks. Again, Schlage, August, and Yale for now. Smart things, Nokia and Nigelo Home are coming soon. But what do these integrations actually mean for you? It means that you can connect, for example, your August log directly to Hospitable. We're going to be generating the code and provisioning them to your guests through our automated messages. Essentially, we will automate the entire process of setting up the codes and communicate them, communicating them to your guests in one spot. Uh, if you uh, have a log that we're currently not integrated with, you can always use remote log uh, as we have an integration with them as well. Some other integrations that we have include AutoHost for guest vetting, Turno for uh, cleaning and team management, uh, Cleanster Minute Clearing uh, for various other purposes. Now, one of the biggest features that uh, people are getting really hyped about right now, and I'm proud to say that we uh, have it, is actually direct. So uh, what is uh, direct? Uh, direct booking allows you to create your own direct booking website with Hospitable, allowing people to book through that website. Uh, right now, there are two options for direct. There's basic and premium. With basic, you can build your own website and use our widget and you can connect your own Stripe account to process payments. With premium, things get a lot nicer. With premium, you have all the functions, so you can build a website, connect to an already existing website, but you also get a $5 million damage insurance, tax collection, tax calculation, guest vetting, so background checks, credit card checks, making sure that the person you're allowing into your home is not a total stranger, as well as us being a merchant of record. What does that mean? That means that if you have any uh, chargebacks or refunds, it's unhospitable to deal with them, not on you. Uh, a lot of people are shifting right now to direct, so I would suggest everyone to give this a go and see how they're fair. You will also be able to add your payout methods. You can add multiple payout methods as well, tying different Stripe or bank accounts to different properties. You'll be able to set out payout history, cancellation policies, whether or not you want to have instant book on, as well as promo codes for your guests. A uh, couple of other features worth mentioning, metrics. Here you have reservations and financials, reviews, tasks, and taxes exports. You can filter the uh, exports uh, by time, as well as by host, platform, reservation status, etc. What you're going to get is a CSV file that's going to be sent to your email address containing all of the data points you need to generate a full report. What people usually do is they use us in tandem with BNB Tally or QuickBooks or just straight up Excel spreadsheets, depending on how proficient you are with Excel. Uh, connected accounts. Here uh, you can uh, connect your accounts to Hospitable. As I mentioned, we currently have an integration with Airbnb, VRBO, and Booking.com. You can we fully support co-hosting, which means you can connect as many different Airbnb, VRBO, and Booking.com accounts as you'd like. Last but not least is the help section. Uh, so here we have a very extensive uh, onboarding guide as well as a getting started section that's going to help you set everything up. 
If that's not enough, we always have your back. You can always contact our support team. Uh, they work 24 uh, five i would say there's always someone there on the weekends but it's not full shift as soon as you message them with any issues they're going to get back to you as soon as you can you will also have options of booking calls with us if you need any extra help now i said a lot of things uh and i put a lot of information out there uh, but essentially in very short terms this is what we do at hospitable and uh, this is how we want to help you save as much time as po possible and focus on what's really important, which is scaling. Our mission is to make short-term renting trivial, and hopefully these features help us do exactly that. If you need any extra info, you know where to find us. Thank you. Bye.